So hello guys welcome back to this channel first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be prompted to enter the username and password check the lab for it now here click on i understand and just click on agree and continue if you get any pop up So now from the navigation menu we have to find the vertex ci so just from here click on the notebook section you can see it just click on the workbench so many of you are reporting that you are facing unnecessary error also some of the files in the workbench is not visible we will fix it together so let's start meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe it and like the video finally here you can see the jupyter page is open now what we have to do Many of you guys are facing issues like file is not visible so for that click on this checkbox and from here reset the notebook. So once you have reset the notebook it will start resetting. So after few seconds it will be ready like this you can see what you have to do you have to just click on open the Jupyter lab. So here just click on the open Jupyter lab. Sometimes what happens the Jupyter lab does not get open since naturally so or you may get any error the Jupyter lab is not responding you have to just close this window and open the Jupyter lab again let me show you how you have to just come back to that workbench section and just open the Jupyter lab like this come here open the Jupyter lab again and wait till the Jupyter lab opens So finally the notebook is now ready so you have to wait multiple times now open this hybrid search file and make sure the kernel is selected or python 3 if you are unable to see just click on the python 3 place here no kernel will be shown just click on it and just select python 3 as kernel now it's connecting now once it is showing idle state you can see it's showing idle you have to come back and just run the vertex ci install command so come down so from here you can see we don't have to run this one first we have to install the requirement packages so click on this play button you can see the kernel status is now busy so finally it has been done now we have to restart the kernel you have to just use the this button you have to just click here and just use the play button again you will get a pop-up now click on ok and you can see the kernel is still connecting now if it gets idle we have to do the next step now let's update the project id in the region first of all update the project id from here replace like i have done in this video and just for the region copy the region carefully copy it carefully and just replace it nicely so this is done now what we have to do kernel is now idle now you can just use this play button or what thing you can do you can just click on run select it and all cells below now it will start executing all the steps now basically it will take 15 to 30 minutes sometimes even more so you need to wait it and once you are done with this you will be done with the lab and in case you are getting any kind of error what you can do you can restart the lab so i will recommend follow the video along with me and then just end the lab once you get the score
can see here it's clearly mentioned here it will take 30 minutes for deployment so just wait for some time and then once we get the score we will enter lab together Finally, the kernel status is now idle. Now let's move to the lab instruction. You can ignore this error because we are getting the score without any issue. Come back here and check the score for these two tasks. You can see we got the score without any issue. And meanwhile, you must check the other task score also if you are unable to see like this. And we are done with the lab, guys. Have a great day ahead. Do like the video and subscribe the channel.